Welcome to the Fantasy Cruncher tutorial video series. I'm CJ. I'm going to be guiding you through, first of all, what we have inside this amazing tool here. It's, not, it's an optimizer for sure, but it has a lot more than that. So I'm just going to basically give you a quick outline on what we got. And then in the next videos, we'll just kind of go little bit by little bit and get a little more in depth just to give you a hint. But if you've got questions, make sure you hop in the Fantasy Cruncher Discord channel. You can link it to your account right here at the top. Uh, you, got, you go to uh, my profile. Boom. You link it right here with your Discord and you're good to go. You hit the link Discord account button, you know, link your Discord, you'll be in the Discord. We've got people in there all the time. Subscribers, staff, moderators that can help you with any of your questions. So hop in there if you're not already in there. That's probably the most important thing you're going to take away from this video. But there's a lot of great things in this video. So let's do it. First, your good old friend, the calculate button. This is what you're going to do at the very end when you need to build some lineups. Next, how many lineups do you want to build? So 150 goes in there. What do you want to use? The fantasy cruncher projections, my projections. You're, most of the time you're going to use my projections, but it's there. If your operating system is moving a little slowly, try putting less players per page. So you can go to 10 players, 20 players, 40 pages, or if you've got a state-of-the-art computer, all players. But I wouldn't try all players. You really don't need to have all the players on one page. Next, the Actions tab. If you ever need to remove your projection, reset your likes or dislikes, copy the player list or download the player list, you can do that right here in the Actions tab. Next, of course, we've got your, your main screen. You've got the players, positions, salary, all this cool data we give you. And then this is where you can edit your projections. You can just go ahead and just give it, let's say LeBron James in Indiana, you think he's going to score a little bit more than 54.7, give him a boost over to 58. Now a little bit over here to the right, we've got the value tab. So this is where if you need to sort by value on a slate, you know, who are the best perceived values, you just go ahead and click this value tab. And again, this will change as you update your projections. Next, we've got the game filter tab. Oops, slide a little more over to the game filter tab. This is where you can choose your slate. So, you know, you can choose the late, the main slate or you can choose any of the small slates. You do that right here on the main screen. Next, in the advanced options tab, this is, uh, you've, we've got tons of things here. You can save your settings. You've got unique players, mid-max salaries, which players you want to fit in your guard, your forward, your flex spots, global exposures what's the highest amount you want any player to be owned, randomness, minimum calculation to include. And again, each of these has a little information tab, you need a little information, but we'll go through those in later videos. And then again, players per team, uh, min, max, how many you need, how many max you want, how many minimum per team, you can plug that all in right here. Position stacks, you, this is where you can build stacks. This is best used for football if you want to stack your quarterbacks with your wide receiver, tight ends, and run it back with a skill player. You can set up, set up that all right here. Team stacks, this is more of a baseball thing. If you want to be stacking teams and stacking games, you can do that here. You can use it for basketball. That's right here if you want to do that as well. Groups, so let's just say if you want to build a if LeBron, then Malcolm Brogdon team, you can just go to LeBron, lock them in there. If LeBron is used, Brogdon. And then again, you can save these groups, delete these groups, disable these groups, but we'll get into that a little bit more in the full video. And then what I call the Wild Wild West tab. This is the most powerful of all the tabs. There's a lot of things you can do in here. You can create rules using your information. So you can use rules based on your projection, based on ownership, based on floor, based on ceiling, based on minutes. There's all sorts of things you can do with the My Data tab. We'll cover that for sure when we get to the My Data video. Again, here at the top, you can choose the position, sort by position. You can sort by any of these categories. You can sort by fancy points per minute, fancy points per game, ceiling, whatever you got. You can sort by it all right here on the tab. You can go position by position. You can filter out teams here. So you can unselect all the teams, let's just say, and you want to only look at Indiana. Boom, it only brings up Indiana. So then, of course, you can remove players manually by clicking the check mark. You can delete them all at once by going all or none. None, of course, will have you no players in your player pool. All will have you all. You can go ahead and click them in or out manually as well. The thumbs up and thumbs down keys. Uh, so if you just don't want to edit the projections by hand, you can just give it one thumbs up. That'll up increase the projection 8%. Two thumbs up 16. 
324, the down does the same. 8% down, 16% down, 24% down. This is a nice shortcut if you're short on time, don't have time to just edit every projection by hand. Just kind of get you up or down based on the number. You can use the, uh, the light arrows. And of course for basketball, if there's for some reason you only want a player to show up at power forward or only at center, you can manually adjust that here as well. And then of course the calculate button. Start with the calculate button, end with the calculate button. Still the most important button we got. That's right here on the bottom left. So that's it. That's everything we have. That's a lot of things for sure. And it's gonna take me four, maybe five videos to get through an in-depth description of all of them. So be sure to check them all out. They're probably right below this one. If you're seeing this one, they're probably live. So check them out. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Feel free to ask any one of the Fantasy Cruncher staff in that Fantasy Cruncher Discord channel. Check it out then. Until the next video, good luck and keep crunching. <laughs>